We are at task number 15, vulnerable and outdated components, the lab part, the practical part of the sixth vulnerability from the OWASP top 10 from 2021, which is part of the complete beginner path on try hack me. Navigate to the vulnerable IP address on port 84, where you will find a vulnerable application. All the information you need to exploit it can be found online. Answer the questions below. What is the contents of the op flag.txt file? And to our right, we have the vulnerable website. All right. Now, if we expand um, this window, we can see welcome to online CSE bookstore. This site has been made using PHP with MySQL procedure functions. The layout used Bootstrap to make it more responsive. It's just a simple web. All right, we see the admin page, login page from 2017. And we also see projects worlds, which just redirects to another two projects worlds. Um, okay, so this one gives information about the books. Okay, we have publishers, a list of full books. Okay and contacts obviously we have all right input field and obviously we have our cart all right let's go to this one let's inspect the code let's see what they have in here i have some comments the first things that jump into my vision All right, now let's go to ExploitDB and say CSE Bookstore. CSE Store. Okay. We have authentication bypass, cross-site scripting, and uh, multiple SQL injections. Let's see authentication bypass. Let's see what's up with this. It's a vulnerable. Okay, bypass on the admin panel. It's located at yes, that's also true for us. And be accessed. Okay, so it's a simple payload, a SQL payload, right? To bypass the admin. for the password. Yeah, a simple payload. Okay, let's try it out. Let's see if this will work. Let's jump over here. We say admin for the name and we paste subquery for, oh, it worked. All right, so now let's go back here and see. So admin for the name which is correct. And for the password, what we did here, well, basically we enclosed the query that asks for our passwords. And then we use the OR operator for one equals one, which is always true, right? And this will allow us to bypass the password. Sample burp suit interception. And here basically it's uh, the same thing that we have here with uh, URL and code and then submits the query. Okay, cool. This one worked. This is it. So I wrote bookstore in ExploitDB. This should be it. Even though we have authentication, for this one, we don't need one. We need the URL of the target. All right, let's download this. We go to downloads, we list. Cool. There you go. All right, so 
we got an interface first. We have a web interface of an online bookstore, CSE. And we have like right relevant information that you can gather if you do further, further reconnaissance. Basically, it's a website online bookstore where you can uh, where you can buy books. And if you are the admin, you can actually uh, I just tried the password and luckily uh, the password is just admin one, two, three, four. You can see that you can add books and edit and delete books, right? You, when you are admin. We also have some contact page, page with which you can play. Um, but in order to respond to, to check out the flag from the optfa directory, we have to, we have this online bookstore hint. When we go into the exploit database, we see this one, this exploit. I search for bookstore and we see it over here. I always look for verify the ones. Uh, we see this one, an unauthenticated remote code execution. Just downloaded this, right? It's a simple, simple uh, script that requires only the URL. After we provide the URL, actually, let's exit this and let's rerun the shell again, the payload. We get this right after we run the downloaded payload for the URL. We get the remote code execution, right? Here is actually the payload. Actually, we have multiple payloads now. We have three payloads downloaded upload it and uh, yeah basically you just cat now the contents of the opt flag txt right in order to get the the flag cool